Like, how much time on average in the day do you spend in the studio? Non-stop. Two hours. I get about two hours of sleep a night, at the most. And and of that music every day, how much would you say ends up in a place that you would be happy wow. to put out? Thirty percent. Maybe, maybe less than that, you know what I mean? But everything can't come out because I'm always experimenting with different things. With, I experiment with electronic music, with, you know what I'm saying, rock music, soul, reggae, everything. Like, I'm trying to do everything. The way I really got noticed is when I was producing tracks. Uh, doing stuff for like Mood, which I produced like 50% of that album, and I did the Black Star record, which was like I produced like 70, 80% of that record. You know what I'm saying? Same with the Train of Thought, which was, these were all my introduction to the game records. I produced like 100%. I produced the Train of Thought record. That really gave me a solid name, and it really gave people a reason, a real reason, to reach out to me opposed to me having to really chase down other artists. Do you like producing more or rapping more? Producing. I hate rapping. You hate rapping? Yeah, I hate rapping, man. <laughs> Everybody right now, they're like, they're like, hey, man, you gonna bring out a new song, you know, you got the little buzz going for, or oh, whatever, they, you know, because of the Who Run, everybody like it. And they was like, they, they one of the reasons why they liked it, because I, I saw some comments where they said, um, is it just me or was we all ready for the shit talking Paul to come back? And um and that's what I did on that. So now everybody's like, Yeah, hey, you bring that new song, what's a new record coming that new album? I'm like, man, I'm just... <laughs> I get to it in a minute, man. I, I, as a producer is one thing, but I, nobody wanted to give me a beat and I felt like I had to make my own soundtrack, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell y'all another thing. This dude could um Fucking freestyle for like ten hours straight and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. problem. It yeah, becomes yeah, addictive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Shout out to Supernet. Another sneaky beat that you did that people don't know that you did is the Mob Deep joint. True lies. True lies. Shit, like, you know, I was just curious about how to make beats, and then I figured it out, and I just wanted people to hear it instantly. So I made a mixtape, and on the B side, I put. Me and Aloe's four track music, us learning how to make hip hop, which is some of his raw shit still. Him at 16 is kind of retarded on the mic rapping Aloe Black. You know, I'd be standing outside of clubs, you know, or like the B Boy Summit, just selling tapes and mailing them out to different places. You know, this is like pre internet, back when you'd be like, yo, let me get a dub of that shit. And you'd get a dub, and then that dub would go to somewhere else, and you'd actually, it would spread, you know, not through Wi Fi, but through tapes, like literally. You 